So, I you want me to run this for you? Good morning, everybody. How are y'all? Terrible. How are y'all? Oh, everybody's normal. Good. Yeah. Everybody's got problems. Everybody's got problems. Well, welcome to the two live meeting. Thank yeah, you. All you guys need to get a life. This is for the July weekend. What are you doing here? Happy birthday. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel yeah. So, so when do we get paid? <laughs> Checks are in the mail, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, there's more people here than I thought. So the next one. That's okay. So uh, kick things off here with the money, Bill. Yes, sir. We still we still got money. You still got money. Good, good. Yep, yep. yep. Okay. So operating accounts ninety six. This is these are official. I hope they are official in the month June numbers. Um, operating accounts at ninety seven hundred. Savings at twelve thousand. PayPal like twenty eight hundred over there. We're gonna move some of that money out. Self insurance at fourteen thousand. Uh, the convention fund doesn't change. Is, 4212. It's actually 4211 93 or something like that. So for $43,343, uh, we brought in $593 in a month. We're still down about $3,800 a year. But we started out the year at um, $48,000 or $49,000. But then we bought our, we bought four, four repeaters. Uh, for ten thousand dollars, so that's kind of one. We're still year to date down, but we're also coming into renewal time of the year. Yeah, I mean we're 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 in good shape. Um, that's why we have savings. You know, so right now things are not looking very well, and we may lose a few numbers because not everybody wants to kill out forty dollars. I mean, I can understand that. And year to date donations, we've had $4,259 donated year to date. Um, Amazon is 96. They run, I, we got a thing from Amazon last month uh, for January through March. So they run about two and a half months behind, but you know. I think it was like $35 we got from last month. That was for January through March. The previous one was for October, December, previous year. So that's kind of where we are. Questions? Uh, Bill, Bill, did you say this? these were the official figures or fictional figures? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no these, these are, um, I, I sent these over to John yesterday, which was the first, and I had already uh, reconciled all accounts. So these should be the actual figures. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. I thought it was fuzzy math, but whatever. It was. Yes. Very fuzzy. Okay. But for some reason, every month I can I can balance the thing out to the penny. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> You know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> Creative accounting is that yeah, what it is? What it is. No. <laughs> and, and, and at board meeting, I I hand out the bank statements for the board members to see and sign and make sure the balance on that bank statement is the balance that's on on there. Um, previous slide for each of those five um, um, fund fund accounts that we have. Okay. Brian, you had your hand up. I'm just up. wondering how much more going to be spent on repeater upgrades. John, can you touch on that? Just how much more? Well, you're putting in nice repeaters. Good. We, we are putting in nice repeaters. The problem is, is that everyone thinks that there are just a few repeaters and they don't take into account all the links. 
and the double, links triple three. right the links are are old so they are being replaced with the repeaters as well um i mean the project is 17. but i know tony's looking at grant grant money and we've had a lot of very generous donations um most of the donations have asked to be low-key but there are a lot of members there have been a lot of members who have generously helped our repeater fund and um but yeah actually the, the short answer is we need 17. and that's um, we bought four hours a piece yeah we oh, bought we right. bought four and we have two on order have we, you ordered two more yeah well yeah when we got that donation i used that in order two more but as you know the global supply chain issue is insane and so, they, they come come from mexico that, that's what i understand is, yeah they're coming out of mexico yeah they're made in mexico so it's not slow boat from china no, no but the well, parts for the parts, the parts, parts. motorola slr 5700s um we stand we picked one we standardized it on it and that no matter what they are they're all going to be motorola slr yeah, you exactly yeah. So okay. you install one repeater, you actually install two. Or three. Or three. Or three. I because mean, if you think about it, and then you got the link. If the you link think rate. about it right now, uh, even Virginia Peak has the repeater and two links. Mm -hmm. So you got three there. Okay. Rose has has four links and a repeater. <clears throat> so I mean it, and what we're doing is we're doing them triage style. Worst first. And this is just analog. So you're not doing DMR. You're doing analog. No, the DMR repeaters are, are relatively new. We're not going to mess with them. Yeah, this is all analog. Yeah, this is this is to replace the linked analog system and get it all up to current standards. How old is it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, we've got got rid of all, all the crystal based repeaters already. Have it? Not yet. Oh, so we've got, well, there are still some out there that are crystal based, and yeah. the one that's on Toulon Peak is not only crystal based; it's not a uh, it's not a continuous duty. And I know y'all don't believe this, but us hands need continuous duty repeaters. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we talk so much. <laughs> well, we talk, and uh, it's not like hey, bring your tow truck to the parking lot. Over, it's you know. We want to talk about what we've been doing, and the Toulon Peak repeater is a 50 watt non continuous duty, and it's tired. It doesn't like doing that. It doesn't. Jim will go by and because he goes out to win a muck a lot, he'll say, Hey, it works this time. Doesn't work this time. <laughs> yeah, well, but, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. <coughs> the Crystal Company is, has gone out of business. So that the you know, crystal based repeaters are. There, if, if that thing goes, it's gone. Period. Yeah, and what what we are doing is is Tony is looking pretty pretty deeply at, at some of these. I'm sure everyone's heard that there are grant there's grant money out there, and that you know like all of Wyoming went to an entire system fusion repeater network throughout the state. There are guys in California that are doing a microwave linking project. And then they're doing all IP link repeaters and, and that's being funded by these grants. So we're trying to come up with some grant money. Also, the, the thing is, is that they don't typically just hand you cash with grants. What they want is they want like matching funds or they want a part of it. And we can actually show that our members and the club are, are doing that matching thing. And what we'd like is some help, not just an out and out layout. So we might have a better chance of of getting the whole project funded. Speak up. Speak up. We can't hear what on with the uh, the payment of the Coleman fund or the repeater. Uh, you're going to have to ask ARL. I don't know. I know they're fighting it, but <clears throat> who uh, actually distributes the funds for a grant like that? I don't know. It, that that that'd be a Tony thing. Well, so, ARL has got a, a grant program. A, I think it's ARL. I think it's AMSAT, and there's one other, and I don't I don't remember what that third one is. Do you so know there's 
Yeah, there's so there's multiple grants out there and there's tons of them that we can go for. But the two big grants that exist right now is the ARDC, which they have multis of millions of dollars they have to get rid of in you know, X amount of time every year due to IRS um, constraints and things like that. The second grant that just came out, the club's grant, um, was funded by the ARDC. I think it's about $500,000. Um, the AWRL is, is, you know, took that challenge to help out clubs, you know, in a more simplified application process for up to, you know, I think it's up to twenty dollars to $25,000 per grant. The ARDC grant, there's no limitation. If the project is viable, they will definitely um, review it and you know fund that. There's also um, other grants. The um, Eobella Foundation is another one that does some type of granting as well too, depending on you know what it is. But usually those are geared towards more educational type things. Um, but there are multiples of grants out there, not just these guys, but there's private ones as well too. So it just depends on what we're going for. I'm gearing towards the ARDC grant just because we have an easier, I think we have an easier time to go through that process compared to AWRL because the AWRL club grant is really, like I said, geared towards maybe um, more educational and it could be some equipment. So maybe, you know, the club has a, you know, a, a club station, they might want to replace a radio or they might, you know, on behalf of a, a college or something like that, they might um, ask for a grant to place a radio at a facility like a college or hospital or EOC or things like that. So that's what that was geared towards. But the ARDC is like major infrastructure, major efforts, major projects. Dave? If all the repeaters are not yet replaced, how much would that be? How much? How much is it going to be? We have 17 to replace four. How much are 13? Uh, 14 repeaters. They, they, the average number, just as an average, is because it depends on if it's a VHF or a UHF, and there's a couple other little details. The short answer is it's 2,500 bucks a whack per repeat. So we're looking at a total project cost of maybe forty to forty-five thousand dollars for the major replacement of all, all repeaters and links. We're not going to do it all this year. No. Yeah. Unless we get the grant, and one of the things that you'll, as you've been hearing, there's a short a component shortage. So even if we got the money, we probably couldn't get the equipment in this year, anyways, unfortunately. So it's going to take some time. Take about six months. To get one. Six eight months. Yeah. Yep. Tony, I have a question. Sure. Uh, is is, the, is there a uh, a stipulation in the grant money? Uh, when you get it, that you have to spend it within a given amount of time. And I, I guess I'm, I'm looking at the supply chain problem. Um, as far as the ARDC grant, there's no, they just basically, you know, write you a check and, okay. you know, you spend it when you need it because there's no stipulation on any type of information going back to the ARDC. They would like information if the project was completed, successful, things like that for, you know, future information. But yeah, there's nothing right now that says you have to spend it by X amount of time. Now, okay. with that being said, depending on the organizational statuses of different organizations, there could be, you know, you know, an IRS um, issue with that. But with the amount that we're looking for, it's so low, we're not even at that level. So we would have, you know, X amount of time. But I would assume if we get the money, we would probably go, you know, over to Sierra Electronics next day and say, hey, we need, you know, 15 more repeaters. Okay, very good. Thank you. Yeah. They would love that, I, I bet you. Okay. <laughs> I bet so. <laughs> no kid, no kid. Anything? Yes, sir. Does, Tony, does that also include the antennas and all the ancillary stuff that goes with it? We can include some of that stuff and that would be some of the discussions with the technical team um, as we, you know, fill out the grant um, application. And I'm trying to work on that, you know, in the next month so we can hit the next cycle. So that would be some of those things that we can actually talk about. So if we need to replace out, you know, antennas at locations that we haven't, you know, gone to a dipole array, if that's kind of our sort of standard, um, any controllers that might go along with it, um, you know, any, any of those accessories that we might need 
you know, we could easily put that part of the grant and make it kind of a little bit more solid of a, of a package. Would the, would the grant also include um, money that could be uh, put into a fund that would pay for the internet connections and those types of things that are have a recurring cost? Um, we could, as long as we have kind of like a, you know, a roadmap plan. So say, for instance, you know, we're looking at funding for the next, you know, five years for that, you know, interconnect. I would say they would be okay with that. I, after that point, I would say, you know, the club, there has to be a plan that the club would have to, um, you know, eventually take that over. And I, I'm assuming it's not going to be huge costs for that type of thing, but I'm going to assume with, you know, the partners that we're, you know, we have sites with, um, they might help to, you know, offset that. Or, you know, one option that we can always look at too is, you know, building our own little microwave network to, you know, get it back to an internet point. But every site that we're at, I believe we have access to it for the most part. Already. Anybody else? Dave? Did we break even on field day expenses? No such thing. No, that never happened. That's never happened. No. Yeah. We only have ten dollars in. Yeah. We, field, uh, field day is a loss leader here. Here, no. <laughs> that is a gift to the members that, mm -hmm. that participate. I don't. And that's why we encourage the membership to participate. <laughs> we would entertain donations though. Just putting that out there. So. Well, it got me involved last year. There you go. Yeah. Okay, let's see what's on the next screen here. Is there anything important there? Members, there we go. So current membership as of this morning, actually, I put all this together this morning, uh, off the website. So uh, that's what that says. Any questions about membership stuff? Is that here today or? That's current. That's yeah, that, as, of, as of this. Renewals, that's for the month. Yeah. Okay. Month of June. yeah, I only the renewals I only took the ones for the month of June. Okay. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And yes. I'll just and I'll just note really quickly that page or that link, that's live data. So as soon as someone enters information in the spreadsheet that we have, keep track, it pulls that data within about 15 minutes. That is live data. So you guys can search at it any time and get the most accurate data within 15 minutes. Doesn't better than that. And if you need it a little bit more accurate, I can actually spin it down to five, but I thought 15 was good, but you know. That should be sufficient. Yeah, we can take a look at it. We'll get some coffee and then look at it again. That's right. <laughs> uh -huh. That'll work. Yeah. Bob, did you have a question? Yes, I said, are any of those new members here? Or on do we have any new members? That's a good question. Thanks, Bob. So either we don't or they're very bashful. So uh my oh, well. guess is they're probably sleeping in like Satan. <laughs> <laughs> you had to bring that up, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you I, got, I got a comment about the time the thing starts. We should start early. I, I've got meetings at 10 o'clock. I'm going to have to leave. You got to go at 10. A lot of people go. We got to, yeah, me We've been up since 4 o'clock, for God's sake. <laughs> Tell them what the bed is for. Okay. Well, I'll let you come get the coffee going then. All right. I was here. I was here at seven oh six this morning. That was way early than I need to. But you know, early yeah, is good. That's so. way too early. Nah, nah. When you're at our age, if you're not fifteen minutes early, you're late. Uh, <laughs> if you're not up at five o'clock in the morning at the latest, that's right. You slept all day. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> never mind the pony express. I've got to take that off from last month. That done. That's over. That was in June. Yeah, I think Thanks it was. I do, yeah. I do have an announcement. Announced. There we go. A success T. Um, two weeks from today, which is July the 16th, there is a HODA Parks on the Air event. It's actually a quarterly event, and you can get uh, certificates. So the plan is if people from SNARS want to get together and go in a group, uh, there's information on the website we'll have and in the newsletter, um, probably 9 a.m. for three or four hours, give or take, probably up at Lena Creek Park, um, which is off of 431. 
Let's just show a quick roughly hand. Anybody interested? Maybe going? Okay, five, six, something like that. And maybe some people on Zoom. So um, we'll be set. It's in the newsletter. We'll, we'll be sending some more information out. Originally, Woody K1LB, who was our POTA expert, was going to come, but he's tied up doing something. So it's just a way to get a bunch of people together. You can do POTA any time you want. We're going to go to a POTA park, meaning a park that is in POTA. And um, it's a weekend where it's a, I don't understand it enough, but there's a weekend where there's a quarterly event. There'll be more people on and you get certificates. So that's coming up on two weeks from today on August. July the 16th. Okay, that's my one early announcement that I know. Any questions? Yeah. Uh, Lab. Who's the uh, who's leading the party? We're going to find that out when they sign up. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know the answer to that. How many antennas are going to be? I don't know the answer to that either. It's, uh, you know, my guess is there was going to, my original guess was there going to be a half dozen. That's about what we have here. So, so foot, same as, I, there's no, there's no restriction. There's no restriction because it's not a contest per se. Oh. So I think the idea will be that a bunch of people get together. Well, they're going to sign up ahead of time. What do they want to bring? What radios they want to bring? Do stuff. Get maybe a couple of people that have done this before, hopefully, and then learn together and try and practice and maybe use different call signs. So it's not a contest, but it's an event that we can do together. Yeah. Uh, is uh, Q1LB going to be there? No, he's tied up doing the Woody's tied up doing mm -hmm. something else. Now, he did say he could support us during the week for training and that stuff. So we might have a Zoom call or a meeting or something on how to do stuff. Um, it's sort of another way of looking at this is this might be uh, last weekend with field day and this coming up in a couple weeks. This might be the beginning of the season with summer to go out and do things as a group. I like the idea. So that's the idea for that. Any other questions? Anybody online that has a question? Just open your mic. Okay, thanks. Back Very to you, good. John. Thanks, Barry, appreciate yeah. it. Any questions about that? Anything further? Okay, silence is golden. So we don't want to forget our friends down at Hammond Hi-Fi. I assume that they will be open today. Uh, after the meeting is over, so go down there and spend money and uh, support those guys there. Uh, Don is happy to talk about stuff, so pretty sure he'll be down there. Okay, so Barry runs all this stuff here, so we give uh, Barry a little hand for keeping the Zoom running. Come in. Um. I'd like to thank everybody who volunteers for the club and helps out. Um, a lot of people don't get that recognition and, and those people, I just want to say thank you too. And I'd, I'd like to give a, a special hand to, to uh, our current cat herder, uh, Kim Farnham, who makes sure that we see, we see all of these, why is my, why is it not updated in the crackling static that my, my uh, stuff, I, I think she's finally got a, a template that goes back as an automatic answer. Yeah, oh, but, yeah. I use Bill's template. <laughs> Kim does a great job of keeping our membership up and running. And so I want to say thank you to, to her and everybody else. What's up with uh, this guy too? Yeah. Oh. I, I don't know how that works. I, Painfully. Yeah. Does. Which you can't get uh, one of you guys on the line. For some reason, I get a phone call going, call this guy. <laughs> call for what? I don't know, but he needs something. Okay. Sometimes what they need is a swift kick in the air. We're going to talk about building. Okay. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Great. We're looking good on time, I think so. Okay, so we're going to stop the recording, um, and uh, that way we can post it on YouTube, and then we'll start one for the field day.